Hello and welcome again to another tutorial, this time on my Stochastic Sequencer 4, which is part of the Shebang modules, which works in VCV Rack. Now, this, uh, this module is basically the same as Stochastic Sequencer, which I you should probably watch that video first, but it just has four of the same thing, uh, four of these sequencers in one. And um, the idea here when I originally made it was was thinking about like a drum kit where you could you could kind of uh, use probabilities for certain uh, parts of the kit to play. Um, so you can kind of use this to create drum patterns. And um, so let's start with that. And what I'm going to do first is shorten this sequence to 16, both of these, and then that's what some of these patterns that are presets in here are, are intended to be like starting points for drums. So what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm going to use these bottom two for the uh, bass drum and snare drum, and I'm using this uh, Trummer uh, module, Trummer 2 module, which is pretty cool for just making simple like drum sounds, um, and I'm using that to to trigger. Um, and I have the gates hooked up to uh, each of the uh, inputs here. <clears throat> so, so, just kind of like to start off, and then we can start drawing a few things, make it a little bit more interesting here. So you can kind of see, get an idea of the beginning of like a drum kit. And um, what I like to do with this is also um, uh, use, um, I'm, I'm going to use this next line as sort of like a hi-hat or, or whatever, um, another type of um, like a higher sound than the snare drum. So I uh, duplicated this. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to connect to the gate over here. Now, um, if we listen to that, and actually I'm going to turn these down so we could just hear that one. And so what I'd like to do, um, as of right now, these gates are random. So you randomly hear, uh, you know, it's randomly triggered basically or the higher sliders, the taller sliders are gonna be more uh, higher probabilities. So what I'd like to do is actually play with uh, the K, the, the K sound. And I, I wanna modulate that because um, it kind of gives like an open and closed sound like a hi-hat. I'm gonna modulate that using the volts per octave right here. And so in order to do that, I have to click there. I want to modulate this and so move it. And then I turn it all the way up. And now let's see what happens um, with, when I hit. And, and we can kind of figure out, um, let's see, the so 50%. So it's like wide open once it's there, 100%. And I kind of wanted to do the opposite. So what I would do is turn the spread down to the in the negative range. So now when I once I randomize it, so we get longer, slightly longer decays when it's 50% or lower, or I should say lower probabilities which means they won't happen as often as opposed to higher probabilities, which will be more often, which should be more shorter sounds. That's what I'm getting at here. So now we have this cool little like, you know, randomized thing. So let's hear it together with 
this. Turn that up. So we got a pretty cool little beat there. So another thing I want to do with this top line, I'm just going to make like a random bass line or some sort of like, you know, ostinato type thing. And uh, and I'm going to use this. Uh, this is like a, a Game Boy emulator. And um, um, which the these modules are like pretty cool. I, I like this. I like them a lot. They're fun to play with. Um, and what I'm going to do is attach the gate to this envelope down here and attach volts per octave there. Now let's listen. I can play with the spread. If I want to hear more bass notes, go to negative. Another thing um, that's interesting with this is you can uh, a couple of things to do is we can create a random pattern then hit diminish and then it'll create randomness but then we can uh, we can basically like create repetitions and the repetitions are similar so they're not exact repetitions uh, That's the Stochastic Sequencer 4. I'll have more advanced tutorials later on this.